So one thing people are always asking me is how much our electricity bill went up by after getting a Tesla? And in generally, how much does it cost to charge an EV at home? Well, they've been driving our Tesla Model 3 for exactly a year now and have clocked over 13,000 kilometers on it. So I want to show you guys how much we have spent in total charging a Model 3 over the past year and compare that to the cost of getting fuel if you were driving a gas car instead. So there are two primary ways we charge our Model 3. We mostly charge at home but occasionally use the public charging networks such as the Tesla superchargers or the charging stations from other networks such as ChargeNet. To charge at home, we use the Tesla mobile charger that came with the car which plugs in directly into a typical 3-pin wall outlet that you find all across your home. So to figure out how much we have spent charging, I use an app on my phone called EV and it's a super cool app as it automatically syncs to your car and tracks how many kilowatt hours you have used up or your car has used up over time. So you don't have to write it down or really even keep a track of anything. And the best part is that it's completely free to use. And no, this video is not sponsored by them. I've just absolutely loved using this app, but if you do like to show your support towards this channel, I would really appreciate it if you use the link in the description below or the following referral code when registering for this app. It will just give us a small kickback and doesn't cost you anything extra. Now, obviously, the cost of electricity and fuel depends on where you live and the electricity rate that your utility company charges. I am in Auckland here in the beautiful country of New Zealand, so these numbers will reflect that. Now, most of our charging at home is done during the night time, when the electricity is at its cheapest, which is also known as the off-peak electricity rates. We are currently on the EV Super Saver plan with Meridian Energy, and our off-peak rate is 18.6 cents per kilowatt hour, and the peak rate is 27.86 cents per kilowatt hour. Now, what's super cool is that you can actually specify in the app these different rates and the time range for when they apply, and it will automatically work out the correct costs based on when your car was plugged in and charging. Not only does this app track all your charging costs, it also provides quite detailed insights into things like your driving session, parking, stats on your battery health and drain, and also the eco impact of driving your EV. Now to figure out your total charging cost, you can look at these fancy detailed graphs and metrics. But obviously for this video, I wanted to dive a little bit deeper into the data. So I chose to export a custom PDF report for my one year worth of driving. So looking at this report, you can see here that for the 13,256 kilometers we have driven, the car was charged with a total of 2,512 kilowatt hours of energy. But not all of this charging was done at home. We did a big 5,000 kilometer road trip across the country earlier this year where we charged using either the public charging stations or the Tesla destination charges at the accommodations we stayed at. So to figure out the total travel charging costs, it was actually pretty easy using the EV app as I was just able to add each public charger into the app and specify the different charging rates and tiers. It then automatically tracked the kilowatt hours used for each session and worked out the appropriate costs. So the report gave me a detailed breakdown of the charging cost by each charging location and I was able to group the results to figure out exactly how much it cost us at each charger type. So let's start off with the home charging cost first. You can see here that we consumed a total of 1,396 kilowatt hours charging at home which to my surprise was only 56% of our total charging and 93% of this charging was done during the off-peak hours. So based on our electricity rates, the EV app reported that this cost us $268 in total so an average of about 19 cents per kilowatt hour. This means that on average it only added about $22 per month to a power bill to charge our Model 3. I honestly still can't get my head around how unreal that sounds as we were paying about $65 a week for fuel before this. Now moving on to the travel charging costs, we were fortunate enough to have 1500 kilometers of free Tesla supercharging included when we bought this car, which we ended up completely using in our first year. This was 363 kilowatt hour of charging, which cost us nothing. But based on the individual charging rates for each supercharger, if we had to pay for this, it would have cost us an additional $238, which is an average of about 66 cents per kilowatt hour. We did, however, have to pay for charging on other public charging networks, which in our case was solely done using the ChargeNet network. For 291 kilowatt hours of energy, we were charged $180 by ChargeNet, which is an average of about 62 cents per kilowatt hour. And the final remaining bit of our charging also cost us nothing, 
as it was done either using the Tesla destination charges at the accommodations we stayed at or using some of the free public charging stations that we're still lucky to have around. So overall, we spent about $448 on charging in our first year of ownership, which if you do the math is about 3 cents per kilometer. So now let's compare this to how much it would have cost us if we were still driving a petrol car. Well, according to Google, the average fuel economy of cars is 9.3 liters per 100 kilometer, or 25.4 miles per gallon. And here in New Zealand, the average price of fuel is $2.77 New Zealand per liter, or $6.67 US per gallon. Now using these figures, to travel the same distance of 13,256 kilometers, in a gas car we would have needed to fill up 1,233 liters of fuel which would have cost us $3,416. This is a net fuel saving of $2,968 in the very first year. That's pretty crazy. And the savings will continue on adding up as petrol cars tend to cost a lot more on maintenance over time. So even though the Model 3, or any other EV for that matter, costs a little bit higher than your average car, the low running and maintenance cost really make it worth it in the long run. All right, so there you have it, the cost of charging a Model 3 for the entire year. Hope you found this video helpful and let me know in the comments below how much you spend charging your EV. Thanks for watching, my name is Drew and until next time, stay charged.